Shanghai. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is March 20, 2021. Saturday, and this is the day of our tracers. Tracy, tracer of uh, Palai grains separating from the leaves of or reeds. I don't know exactly. I'm still learning. But anyway, um, this is the last process of uh, uh, the harvesting. And then uh, the original uh, uh, work of uh, collecting, after collecting, is the tray work. The last. And then, of course, uh, there should be milling and everything. There's always ready more of selling and marketing. But anyway, I'd like to show you the diligent stuff and how uh, we have here at the glow. It's <laughs> cutting the weeds. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> He's uh, very hard working, helping me everything here. Uh, she's the one cutting the weeds. What's up? <laughs> The animals feeding and watering the plants, clearing everything, and putting fertilizers and decomposers. Say bye bye, Ate Glo. Bye! Hello! <laughs> of course, let's go to the sun of June. Hello, Prince, come here. Whoa, he's so handsome. Looks like mom or dad. Kiss me, kiss me. Give me a kiss. Whoa! <laughs> and the beautiful wife of June. I did come here. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. She's pretty, right? Like Indian beauty. <laughs> or Philippine <laughs> Palawan beauty. <laughs> yeah, it's only sometimes we are here, right? chance for us to have a documentation what's going on here and as you can see I want you to see the workers in uh, doing the tracer tracer machine oh <laughs> they are coming to me <laughs> For the farmers so you can see the grievances grievances <laughs> of less support from the government there might be a lot of support but the problem is are the poor people the farmers are rich with these benefits well I can suggest they should have a random checking not just check if these uh, benefits from the government are received by the ultimate farmers that's only all I can say because if you just check with the record that these things were received by these people but actually you don't do the random check <laughs> what I mean is well as a usual thing goes government corruption is still in the system <laughs> that is the truth and the truth hurts and if no one will voiced out there could, there will be no improvements okay and I'd like you to know that 
it's not me that making income out of this because I help the farmers a lot and uh, it should be like 60 kilos per sack but I think I'm only giving uh, 50 per sacks per rent of the hectare and they're giving me only 20 sacks per hectare and then I'm not sure if it, um, it will uh, include the whole land because some portion were not harvested yet because they're, uh, they were not planted at the same time because some portion were affected by the typhoon, the blood so um, it is not as what expected by many but the reality is <laughs> I'm just enjoying to become a poor farmer here in the Philippines <laughs> and I get a chance to voice out what I can see and I'm so sorry but maybe somehow I can help in a way that everybody will be awakened and this one very important thing that my husband helped here is that when the cost of the palai from 17 or 21 was dropped to 10 to 11 per kilo only so I witnessed not witnessed really went to the NFA and my husband reported to the 888 <laughs> about his status that it is not the farmers that are benef benefiting about the rates it's the crocodiles <laughs> the middleman, the capitalist but the hard works are for, from the farmers you see they lowered it to the 11 11 per kilo and then but if you can check the rate in the market or in groceries the rate are still the same are same, expensive uh, could be average from 40 to 50 per kilo per rice so you can imagine the difference how the capitalists um, become more <laughs> rich and the farmers become more poor you simply the government don't understand the farmers I don't know they understand what's going on unless they are hands-on <laughs> I am a witness and I can see how things work how the farmers become poorest and the thing is there's so many um, constraints behind that I discovered and uh, first is the selling of the rice uh, from the farmer to the middleman and to the market <laughs> this is the poor system of the government that they can't control how to stabilize or standard the rates and when we went to NFA uh, it's my husband who suggested to have this abongan place to have our own warehouse for the NFA. Actually, he's offering our last. <laughs> it's my husband's brain. Of course, I'm the one behind <laughs> the analysis. I help him. Out. But at least, he's gone. But now, the NFA is working here. Some, you know, uh, at least having the actual all the ideas of my husband were heard at least he's gone but he's heard at least somehow help the capitalist not the farmers because of lack of um, dryers blowers before they can seal sell to the good rate this palai that they have harvested but still it's the capitalist with these uh, equipments and with the help of the government equipment so funny that they become more richer and to the farmer I hope that the government will hear the cry of God's people <laughs> I'm here and they keep becoming politician that I never I cannot allow my family to have a black hands our hands are clean Bye for now. God bless. <laughs> Take care and be happy. Enjoy life. Even life is difficult. Bye.